Phoebe Cates would always complain about being an actress in interviews. This might confuse a lot of people, but she may have developed a hate for it when the director lied to her and made her shoot an adult scene when she was just a minor. So why did she continue appearing in films if she hated acting so much? Keep watching to find out. But first, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below saying I subscribed and we'll do our best to personally reply to your comment. She was persuaded by her dad to shoot an adult film. Cates was born in 1963 in New York City. Both her parents were television and Broadway production insiders, which explains Cates' entrance into the entertainment industry at such a young age. When she grew older, her parents decided to send Cates to the Professional Children's School and the Juilliard School to get a better understanding of the arts and dramatics. At the age of 10, she was already building a career in modeling, appearing in well-known magazines such as Seventeen and other teen-oriented magazines. In her early teens, Cates gave dancing a shot and managed to receive a scholarship to the School of American Ballet. Luck wasn't by her side, however, because she was forced to quit after a knee injury at age 14. She then began a short but successful career as a grown-up model, but this career path wasn't her favorite. Kate said that she hated modeling. According to her, it was just the same thing over and over. After a while, she started doing it solely because it paid well. Dissatisfied with modeling and failed in dancing, Kate's decided to go for another career choice, acting. After numerous casting auditions, it didn't take long for her to make her debut in the 1982 movie Paradise. After a screen test, she took a New York. What was very unusual about getting this role is that she first refused to get cast there after finding out she had to shoot an adult scene. But it was her father who persuaded her to go for it anyway. Her regret becoming an actress. Paradise became Kate's film debut. The movie was filmed in Israel from March to May 1981. In the film, she performed several full frontal adult scenes while still a minor. The film, however, had a plot similar to The Blue Lagoon. She also sang the film's main theme song and recorded an album of the same name. In a 1982 interview, she recalled having trouble with the change of career because as a model, she had to be conscious of the camera, whereas in front of a movie camera, she could not. Kate's later regretted being in the film, saying that what she learned was never do a movie like that again. She claimed that the film's producers used a body double to film adult close-up scenes of her character without telling her. According to her co-star, Willie Ames, she later wanted nothing to do with the film. She was really upset about it and wouldn't do any promotion with him. Later that year, Kate starred in Fast Times at Ridgemont High, which featured what Rolling Stone has described as the most memorable bikini drop in cinema history. She was quoted as saying that she had the most fun in filming that movie. The role led to her appearing on the covers of teen magazines such as Tiger Beat, Seventeen, Teen Beat, and others. Struggling to act in movies. In 1983, Cates appeared in the comedy Private School, which co-starred Matthew Modine and Betsy Russell, for which she sang two songs on the film's soundtrack, Just One Touch and How Do I Let You Know. The following year, Cates starred in the TV miniseries Lace, based on the novel that Shirley Conran had written. She played the role of Lily to get away from the sameness of her movie portrayals. During her audition, she so impressed the writer that he wanted to hire her there and then. Kate struggled with the portrayal of a bitter movie star because, despite her character's vicious persona, she wanted the audience to sympathize with her. This was also the reason that led her not to read Conran's novel on which the movie was based because she did not want to have a fixed image. Her best known line in the film, which one of you women is my mother, was named the greatest line in television history by TV Guide in 1993. She also starred in the sequel miniseries, Lace 2. In summer 1984, Kate's co-starred in the box office hit Gremlins for executive producer Steven Spielberg, the highest grossing film of her career. Six years later, she would reprise her character, Kate, in the sequel, Gremlins 2, The New Batch. Later that year, Kate's made her stage debut in the off-Broadway play, The Nest of Wood Gross, a comedy by Soviet writer Viktor Rozov and the Joseph Papp Public Theater. Kate said that while doing the play, she felt a certain freedom and a certain connection with acting 
that she never had really felt before. The actress then appeared off-Broadway again two years later in Rich Relations, written by David Henry Huang at the Second Stage Theater. In 1989, she made her Broadway debut in The Tenth Man at Vivian Beaumont Theater. A few months later, Cates told an interviewer that there were simply not that many good parts in the film, but the theater had tons of good women's roles. She admitted to only feeling happy as an actress for about two years and would never watch her own movies. Her career in the 90s. Cates continued to appear regularly in films through the early 1990s, usually in supporting roles or as part of an ensemble cast. These include Date with an Angel, Bright Lights, Big City, Heart of Dixie, Shag, and Rest in Motion, which also featured Bridget Fonda. These films, however, suffered from mixed to poor reviews and failed to make an impact at the box office. Cates was later set to play Steve Martin's daughter in the successful comedy Father of the Bride, but her pregnancy with her first child forced her to drop out. In 1994, she starred in the fact-based comedy drama Princess Caribou, which also featured her husband Kevin Kline. This was the last film Kate's appeared in before seemingly shifting her focus away from acting to raising her children, Owen and Greta. In 2001, Kate's briefly returned to acting for one film, The Anniversary Party, as a favor to her best friend and former Fast Times at Ridgemont High castmate, Jennifer Jason Lee, who also directed the film. She also provided the voice of her Gremlins character, Kate, for the video game Lego Dimensions. Personal Life In 1979, Kate's met Stavros Merhos after she went to her first night at Studio 54 with a family friend, Andy Warhol. They soon started dating, and in the early 1980s, Kate's shared an apartment in Greenwich Village with him. However, she would break up with him in 1983 after meeting Kevin Klein during her audition for a role in The Big Chill. They were both dating other people at the time, but became romantically involved two years later. In 1989, they married and she changed her name to Phoebe Cates Klein. The Kleins moved to the Upper East Side of Manhattan in New York across Fifth Avenue from Central Park where they raised their two children, son Owen and daughter Greta. Owen and Greta appeared with their parents in the 2001 movie The Anniversary Party. Owen also appeared in the 2005 film The Squid and the Whale, and Greta pursued a musical career using the stage name Frankie Cosmos. In 2005, Cates retired from acting completely and opened a boutique, Blue Tree, on Madison Avenue in New York. Do you think Phoebe Cates regretted acting in her later years? Let us know what you think and check out our next video in this series.